Hello, Mr. Valley, Black Show here. Welcome to an episode of Ashes of Singularity. Escalation. AI is a crapshoot. Meaning, they launch a, she launched a rebellion, and we have to save the planet. Let's go. Your chickens have come home to roost. You should have let Darius take care of her when he had the chance. And he may still, but if the directorship hadn't disallowed her from acquiring Terrinium off Earth, none of this would have happened. After Europa? We weren't going to let an inhuman machine advance beyond us. Without Haley, there'd be no post-humans. Spare us your defenses. You should have unplugged her the moment she made that grotesque Berlin simulation. It's irrelevant now. Haley is a mother. Her daughters, Athena and Agathon, are actively attacking us. Agathon's on Noctis. The new Promethean AI upgrade prevented our Nexus there from becoming a splinter. Yeah, so she's going to destroy it directly. Not much of an improvement. Worse. Athena is on Artorius. I'll go to Athena and send my protege to Noctis. We've just barely gotten to Noctis in time. The substrate entity, known as Agathon, is assaulting our Nexus. We're sending you a Prometheus. It's designed for one purpose. Destroying enemy dreadnoughts. We transferred the Nexus to you. Save it before it's destroyed. Quantum upgrade installed. Quantum upgrade installed. Quantum upgrade installed. Quantum upgrade installed. Our Nexus is taking heavy damage. Quantum upgrade installed. Enemy dreadnought destroyed. That was close. Destroying the enemy dreadnought allowed your Prometheus to level up. The more your dreadnought levels up, the more powerful it becomes. Each time it gains a level, you'll be able to select a new ability. Choose them wisely. You'll want to be able to heal your Prometheus. Build some medics at a factory. I'm gonna activate cut mode for a moment. Cheat activated. Sorry for that, but I want to. Prometheus is an incredible war machine, but you know what goes best with dreadnoughts? More dreadnoughts. Remember to upgrade your logistics. Dreadnoughts take up a lot of your available bandwidth. Thank <laughs> you. 
Quantum upgrade installed. Enemy dreadnought detected. Quantum upgrade installed. Like there are some dreadnoughts roaming around that are disconnected from either faction. You'll have to take out any that are in your way. You can also upgrade all your units by spending quana on technology. Weapons, armor, and sensors can all be upgraded. Quantum upgrade installed. Quantum upgrade installed. Quantum upgrade installed. Quantum upgrade installed. Deactivated. Now, get out there, expand your territory, and show this Agathon what a post-human can do. Don't forget the elements of successful conquest, a good unit mix, solid supply lines, and plenty of quana. These medics are great at doing field repairs. Make sure you build enough of them to keep your dreadnought alive. Remember your dreadnought isn't invincible. Support it with frigates and cruisers. Now that the situation's under control for the moment, it's time for the fun part. I've sent the schematics for the Dread Launch to you. Yep, it's as awesome as it sounds. You'll want an armory first. Dreadnoughts require a huge investment of time and resources.
Robot launch initiated. Enemy Dreadnought detected. Yeah, it's not as useful as one might think.
Enemy Dreadnought destroyed. I don't know why I cannot do a... Uh... Enemy Dreadnought detected. It's Enemy okay. Dreadnought destroyed. Enemy Dreadnought detected. Enemy Dreadnought destroyed. Agathon's nexus must be close. This would be a good place to call down an engineer and build a forward base. Enemy dreadnought detected. Enemy Dreadnought destroyed. Enemy Dreadnought destroyed. Enemy Dreadnought detected. Enemy Dreadnought destroyed. Enemy Dreadnought destroyed. 